Look around you. Chances are many of the things you see each day were made or are working thanks at least in part to one simple black rock called coal. This is a piece of coal and there's enough energy stored in this chunk of rock to power this light bulb for about a day. Coal is a fossil fuel made of ancient plant and animal matter that has been squashed and heated over millions of years. Now we dig it up and burn it in power plants to heat water. The steam from that spins turbines to generate power. Globally, billions of tonnes of coal are burnt each year to help power our lives. But despite how remarkable and useful it is, coal also has a big, dirty problem. When burnt, it releases pollution, including lots of the main greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. For each tonne of this stuff that's burnt for energy, almost three times that amount of carbon dioxide is released. Scientists say we've got to cut back on the amount of carbon dioxide floating up into the atmosphere to halt climate change. So many say scrapping coal as an energy source would be a big help. But lately, our PM has been talking about an alternative to getting rid of coal power altogether. With state-of-the-art, clean coal-fired technology. You think if anyone had a vested interest in showing that you could do really smart, clean things with coal, it'd be us, wouldn't you? Okay, so maybe this isn't exactly what he meant by clean coal. But how exactly can coal be clean then? Well, it's impossible to burn coal and not make pollution, but there are ways to make the process cleaner. First up, power plants can be designed to filter out and trap the carbon dioxide released as coal is burned. Once trapped, it could be stored underground. Another way is to build power plants that burn coal at higher temperatures, which just so happens to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide released. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The government says these alternatives will give Australia a cleaner way to use its massive coal reserves. And it says using coal for energy generation is far more reliable than other cleaner options like wind or solar, which don't work well in still conditions or cloudy weather. But some say there are a few problems with the plan to continue using coal in a cleaner way. First, analysts reckon cleaner coal might actually turn out to be more expensive than other options like wind, solar or gas while still releasing more greenhouse gases than the alternatives. And while it would be more reliable, the technology is still being tested, so it's not a quick fix. Weighing up all these things isn't easy, and there are lots of different opinions on what path Australia should take. But in the end, it'll be the government that'll decide whether to put more coal in Australia's energy mix.